A very good afternoon. Thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Hope everybody has had a good day so far. Uh, we're soon and quickly approaching yet another weekend. It's amazing how quickly the time goes. It feels like yesterday that we were in the midst of the bank holiday weekend. And um, yeah, now we're on the 5th of May. And um, we're quickly rattling through this year, actually, overall. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but... Uh, it just seems to be that time is just running faster and faster, I think, as you get older. But uh, this is the current, uh, not the current, this is the, the sea surface temperature anomalies uh, from October 2010. And uh, I want to look, you know, I'll try and keep it as brief as possible. Um, but I want to look at the, the difference between back in 2010 and um, and currently, because we're pretty much... Uh, in line with where we were, where we were back in the you know the solar cycle scenario 2010 11 12 was coming off the solar minimum and we're kind of doing the same thing at the moment here um with uh, the previous minimum that occurred a couple of years ago uh, the, the big difference however is that the global sea surface temperature profile is is a lot warmer now the earth temperature is warmer as well and it's interesting how we've went through, um, you know, two minimums in the last, um, what, uh, you know, 12, 13 years. And the temperature of Earth just continues to rise. But I think, personally speaking, I think a lot of that is the, the temperature of Earth is rising and the atmosphere temperature is kind of fluctuating, but it's still rising, really is the fact that the sea surface temperatures are, are warming up now. Is that attributed to CO2? Is it attributed to something else? I don't know. But I am starting to uh, scratch my head as to why the planet is continuing to warm. Yeah, yeah. you look back hundreds, if not thousands of years, we've seen these periods of time where the Earth has warmed and it's cooled so my big issue with the global warming argument is that why did we see back in years gone by, long before any of us were around, that the planet was warm, warming, and this was all pre-industrial uh, warming, by the way. This is not uh, since the industrial age that we're seeing this warming. I believe that the Earth's climate system is cyclical, and we will eventually, hopefully, I'm hoping... That we will eventually start to cool things down again but at the moment we're not seeing that and there's no getting away from it there's no denying that and uh, i want to on this channel be as honest with you as possible without without having any sort of an agenda you know i love cold weather i love snow um you know winter is my thing you probably know that if you've been following for for some time here in the channel that i love winter i love I like summer, but I, I'm a winter. I'm a winter fan. I've always been and always will be. I think, but yeah, um, you know, decade by decade, we continue to see a very subtle, very uh, slight warming trend that is somewhat concerning. Now, if you go back to uh, November two thousand and fourteen, you're saying to yourself, "Why are you showing us this, Mark?" Well, actually, this is the last time that we've seen the, the global temperature below average. So for the month of November 2014, that's the last time that we've seen a global temperature below normal. Um, so it's amazing considering, uh, I'm not even going to hazard a guess as to how many months that is now in a row. But that, uh, it, you know, it's amazing because you look at the average temperature and it's just marginally above average. So, you know, let's not get carried away here um in terms of you know f making people uh, terrified of the fact that the planet is about to blow up i don't believe it is because the temperature the average temperature month by month is a fairly marginal rise in temperature but the problem is we're not seeing cooling especially given the fact that we've had a three-year la nina now we're in the midst of a third year la nina that appears to be strengthening, but we're not seeing much response. Now, we're seeing subtle responses within the troposphere. If we look at the troposphere, so this is this is the, the, the te water temperatures here 
going back, let me get this uh, again here. So this is water temperatures going back to 2010. These are the current temperatures and there's not a huge amount of difference if you notice. There's not a huge amount of difference. Now notice that there was a strong La Nina in place there. We've got a, a pretty cold North Pacific. We've got a, a relatively warm, warmer in the Eastern Indian Ocean versus the West. Warm North Atlantic with this ribbon of cold here. Warm in the Eastern Atlantic. If you go to the current setup here, we've got a little bit of cooling coming off North America. We've got a cold horseshoe, very warm North Pacific Central. We've got the warm uh, over the North Atlantic. Um, very similar, very, very similar indeed. That begs the question then, will we eventually see some sort of a temperature cool down month by month? I'm, I'm not sure. But you look at the UAH temperature for uh, for April and it's at plus 0 0.26 Celsius above normal. So we're still well above the, uh, the average line and you have to go back, like I said, to 2014, the last time we were actually below normal. And we went through a spell around 2010 to 2012 where it actually was firmly below average. And we've just went through the same type of solar minimum and we're away up here. So the question is, will we see the response from the sun, you know, two, three, four years after the minimum occurred? And that is the question I'm asking. Even this summer coming up is going to be very interesting. Third year La Nina, quite a mature La Nina. Where's the temperature of both the oceans and the atmosphere going to go? Land temperature as well, of course, will be a big player. Are we going to see temperatures get pegged back this summer? That's a very good question indeed. But it's interesting to see where the sea surface temperature profile globally is very similar to October of 2010. And of course we had some cooler than normal months just after that so two three four years after we had the minimum we seen the global average temperature go below normal so the question is are we going to see that taking place coming up even this summer that's going to be the question because we need to see the response to this la nina folks the la ninas are what tempers earth's temperature it's the thermostat that pegs the temperature down and if we go through three years of a, a firm La Nina and we're not seeing the temperature coming down, but in fact we're seeing it rise, there's a lot of questions to be asked about what's going on and are we in a situation where it is of concern. Um, like I say, I've got, I've got my own theories, I've got my own ideas with regards to what's going on here, but uh, certainly the big test is going to come in the next day uh, you know 12 to 24 months in terms of what's what's going to happen um you know april according to meteorologist joe bastardi of weatherbelt.com and these maps are actually the cdas uh, satellite uh, temperature here um you know satellites obviously the best form of measuring temperature both in the atmosphere as well as the ocean and this was april so last month the global average was 0 0.3 Celsius above average. So again, like I say, these are marginal warm anomalies here, but they're still warmer than normal. According to uh, Bastardi, actually, April was the warmest uh, La Nina April on record. So, uh, you know, yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things to look at at the moment with regards to the, 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 the global temperature, La Nina, the sun, so on and so forth um, as we go forward. Now, it's actually quite interesting because this is May so far. Now, there is a heck of a lot of warmth. Notice here the warmth actually over Antarctica, which is quite interesting given the fact that we've seen it colder than normal. There's a lot of warmth in the Arctic, as you can see here, but we've got a lot of cold central down the spine of North America. It's been a very cold start to May, very cold start over the central portion of Greenland. It's been warmer than average in the UK, and I think that's going to continue through the month. Notice the cold here across uh, the equatorial and southern portion of Africa, South China. Look at this here, actually, that's quite interesting. Northwest Africa, 
extending across more or less a good chunk of Europe and western f fringes of Asia is quite cold compared to normal here which is quite interesting but the overall global average is 0 0.2 celsius above average it's going to be another warmer than average month i think overall but these are just thoughts that i thought i would bring you this thursday afternoon stroke evening um you know like i say i endeavor to try and look at all aspects of of weather and climate not just what the weather is going to do in the uk and it's to keep it fresh it's to keep it interesting rather than it becoming very monotonous and very boring. It probably is monotonous and boring listening to my dulcet tone. But, uh, you know, I do appreciate, of course, the fact that you're still here on the channel. Uh, do drop, drop comments. Uh, please also write if, you, if you're interested in a particular topic, maybe something that we could speak about uh, and I could maybe look into and, and try and do a video on in the next uh, several weeks and even several months through the summer season if you... If you do drop any kind of thoughts and a comment with regards to, uh, well, I would quite like this discussed, or have you looked at this before, or, or what, what not, you know, it would be actually quite interesting to be able to look at different topics and keep it interesting, keep it fresh, and um, I'll try and do that. But um, I think I've spoken long enough. Um, hope everybody enjoys the rest of their Thursday, and uh, I will be back on Saturday with more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye for now.